guys. So I've had a bunch of requests. Um, probably oh, at least a dozen, if not more. Um, if I had any old footage or images of my last Ranger that I had. So I went through my wardrobe and I found the magazine that um, I had a write up done on my old Ranger. So it's a uh, four wheel drive action. Issue number 247. Um, I don't know if there's any way of people being able to get a hold of this issue. Um, I doubt it, but just thought I'd show you guys the write up that's in this magazine of my old Ranger so you can see the last truck that I built. I probably should have started YouTube a long time ago, but um, anyway. So I'll uh, try and find it in here for you guys. There we go. So I'll, um, I'll grab the camera and we'll uh, have a flick through and have a read on this article that was, crap, I don't even know when it was. This would have been, doesn't say on the magazine what what year this book was done. I think it would have been, would have had to have been probably 2015 possibly. If I can find the date, I'll let you know, but um, yeah, there's nothing here on the, the front of the magazine that actually says when the this book was made, so. But yeah, let's have a let's have a read of this article that was done on my last truck so you guys can kind of see what I went from to now having the F250. The kind of yeah, that little transition in between each truck and you can see the last one that I built and compare it to the F250 I've built now. So let's check let's check it out. Rightio, full wheel drive action, issue number 247. We'll just try and go straight to here we go. <clears throat> So this is my last truck guys. So I had the whole truck wrapped. Method race wheels on this truck as well. I had a Churro tires is what I was running back then. Addictive Desert Designs front bumper. Light bar UHF. That's when I had the Rhino rack like I've mentioned before in the the past videos there's that sweet King's awning on the side there snorkel clear view mirrors Fox shocks so I was running I think I had I had the 2.0s in this in this one and I had a max or oh, sorry winch max winch I think they're a UK UK brand had the Raptor style grill. We'll flip over now. So this is some of the bar work that I had. I had a tire gate, custom made tire gate on the rear of it. I had the addictive desert designs cage that um went on the back. It did have a tire carrier in it as well but I ended up ripping that out I actually cut it out of there so I could actually use it to put my bikes in just because um, I've been I race motocross my whole life and I still do ride a little bit when I get a chance so there's going to be more of that stuff coming on the channel too I'm looking to buy a new bike right now I do have one bike I just sold another bike so but um, yeah that's why I cut that out so I can get my dirt bikes in the back um, light bars facing front and rear it was a high lift jack underneath there which was pretty cool that I mounted there's that sweet king's awning <laughs> the rhino rack um, I had uh, treads back then I was running 35s on this truck in case you're interested but I had a four and a half inch lift on 35s
So most of the bar work I got from CTB Performance in New Zealand. There's the uh, Fox Shocks just there. So they were the 2.0s. So this, after this issue, it was a couple of months later, I ended up putting the 2.5s in. And that made the truck ride so much better. I ended up actually lowering it a bit too because, like, check out those CV angles. <laughs> what are you thinking, you idiot? No wonder I blew CVs all the time. But anyway, all good fun. I had a body lift as well. As you can see just there, just there, there's a that rubber block underneath there. I think it was a one inch body lift. There's those Aturo tires with the 35s. I was running 18 inch methods. Yeah, 35, 12 and a half, R18 muddies on the 18s. I had a straight through three inch exhaust. It was inside the cab. So I had a UHF and then in there, dash mat. Nothing too fancy going on. Any winch remotes there. It was a manual too. It was a 3.2 manual. That big skid plate on that Addictive Desert Designs front bar. Just had a, one of those Rhino boxes in the back just for throwing gear in there. Because I used to use my swag all the time with this truck. So, there's my ugly head. <laughs> Custom rock sliders on the on the sides too, guys. Um, Addictive Desert Designs rear bumper. And it just had the factory tow bar on there. So there's some specs of the, the truck. Six speed manual. I did have a rear ARB locker as well. Thanks, Sam. So, yeah, guys, just want to show you the um, my old Ranger, and it's kind of a bit of the styling that we're going to be doing towards the Raptor. So the new truck, so we're just trying to get some money together to start the Raptor build and as you all know, got to go to work, got to earn the money. So, but yeah, thought I'd just show you guys this today. Cool little read up. There is a video too. I'll see if I can find the video and I'll, um, yeah, it's actually, this was all um, videoed as well. It was actually on the DVD. Um, I forget what they used to call this segment on the DVDs, the four drive action DVDs, but I'll see if I can actually find that um, that segment on, on my truck. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the, uh, the comments on this truck. So yeah. Missed that truck. It was actually a really, really fun truck. I don't know why they got yank tank written on there but anyway sweet so I just want to give you guys a bit of an update too on what's happening with the channel and bits and pieces so basically we're working on this collaboration with the um, Ranger Raptor right now um, so I can't give you too much information because we're trying to keep it a bit of a secret at the moment um, so yeah, that's, that's happening anyway. Hopefully we'll have something say within the next month, um, going on to get that sort of done. I've just got to get some money together to make it happen. Um, the trailer build, I've had a few guys ask me about the trailer build. So basically that is right now, that's a matter of me going up to, I've got to go up to Coffs Harbour, um, to the people that are going to actually start building it for me. So that's just a matter of time. I just haven't had time to go up there and see them about that yet. So it's still all happening. So I'll let you guys know what the company is now going to be called. Um, it's going to be called FTech Overland Outfitters Australia. So once hopefully the the trailer takes off, 
if it does and become successful then we won't just be building trailers i want to do a full range of stuff so i want to actually build up vehicles for people so they can bring me their stock standard ram 2500 and we can build it right up um custom tray canopy all that sort of stuff so this is a long time down the future guys but it's what i'm dreaming and hoping for f tech to become later in the future but um so that's kind of a bit a little, little bit of an update on that so f tech overland outfitters australia is what the, the company would be called basically f tech australia so it'd be fenwick technology so but yeah so that's kind of where the trailer build is um it's pretty much me going up and uh, meeting with the guys that are going to start building it and taking them all the CAD files and everything to get it underway. So I've just kind of been slacking on that because we've got so much other stuff going on with work and other businesses and stuff. So I've just been strapped for time and all that sort of stuff. So that's an update on the trailer. I'll catch you in the next one. See you.